Morning guys, welcome back to Dub Ventures. Now, if you're new to the channel, first of all, please hit that subscribe button because if you've clicked on this video, you're obviously clicking on for some information, but we've got lots of videos with lots of different information and lots of adventures. So please have a browse through the um, videos and hit that subscribe button. Right, today's video, as you've seen by the title, it's about, obviously, a lot of people um, at the moment, it's a bit of a gray area. They're buying vans, panel vans, ambulances, box vans, different vans. And basically, you know, what they're doing is um, they're converting them just like we are because we own a Volkswagen T5 that started life as a panel van. Um, and obviously over the past two years, uh, we've been converting it um, into a camper van. Now, what a lot of people want to do is when they've converted their van, they want to actually then register it with the DVLA as a um, official like caravan, like camper van type of thing. Now, doing that has lots of different um, benefits. Now, I'm not going to go into some of the benefits because they seem to change all the time. Um, but financially, um, you know, that's one of the reasons you can save money on insurance, um, you know, on tax, vehicle tax and things like that. Um, but today um, I've just been looking and it's the law with the gov.uk um, has actually changed. Now, what, that, what I mean by that is um, basically... At one time, um, if you wanted to convert your your panel van into a, a official camper van, there was just certain things you had to do, like you had to have a fixed cooker, a fixed bed, um, you know, things like that. But a lot of things have changed now. Now I know that a lot of people have been applying to the DVLA recently and actually applying um, to, like they've done the van and it, you know, and everything as they thought was what they required to get it classified as a cat as a like a an official camper van, but then they were getting letters back saying your van is basically a van with windows not a camper van even though it's got like all the met requirements now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go into some of the things that have actually changed which basically means now it's going to be more difficult for people to actually get their van um converted into an official camper van and what i will tell you now straight away is the new um, rules that have come out means that absolutely 100 percent our Volkswagen T5 van will never officially be classed as an official by the DVLA as a camper van. But that doesn't mean to say that it's still not a camper van because it's a van and we camp in it, so it is still a camper van. So without further ado, let's get into this information and let's see actually what it is that you need to do and what's changed. Now guys, before I go any further, what I will say is, obviously don't take what I say as absolute truth because I might get something wrong or I might not have a full understanding of uh, what it is I'm explaining. I'm only explaining my understanding of it and obviously what I've read on the gov.uk website. So what I do suggest is if you watch this video and you are in the process of obviously getting your van converted to an official like motorhome caravan uh, type of vehicle, do go on the gov.uk website and do check everything that I say. Right guys, so what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to speak about the outside of the vehicle because the outside of the vehicle has to have certain criteria to match if you are trying to get your uh, vehicle changed. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep looking away because I've got a list here and I do need to obviously check as I go along. So the first thing is, your van, first of all, obviously it has to be a van. Um, that goes without saying. Um, now, there is a list on the gov.uk website and it goes through and it tells you what type of vans. Um, I'll just give you a couple of examples. Um, ambulance. Box van, insulated van, light goods van, light van, livestock carrier, panel van, special mobile unit. So you get the idea. There is actually quite a lot, but I'm not going to list through them all. Um, but basically, if you've got a van, obviously, you know you've got a van. Right. External features. The van that you're converting, it has to have two windows that are fixed that allow light in on the van. Now, that doesn't include the driver or passenger front window. That basically means the side of your van has to have two windows on one side. So it's not one window on one side, one on the other, which a lot of what I've seen, because I know about Volkswagen camper vans, they have like one on each side. That's not a requirement. That's not good enough. You have to have two windows on at least one side of the van. So that's basically both parts of like the, the panel part of the van. So that's one requirement. It obviously has to have a separate door for you to access to get into the back. So you can't have just like a, a van that you can like just climb over the seats and get into the back. Now, this is like a new one. Um, now, in the old days, when we first got our van, because we've had it for, uh, for a couple of years now, we was obviously looking at getting ours converted officially by DVLA to get it as, as a classified um, camper van. Now, a new one that's come out is 
Now, this is open to um, a bit of like scrutiny, I think, because it, it's not very clear. But it basically says it has to have motor caravan style graphics on both sides of the vehicle. So, what does that mean? I know what it means. It means like big curly writing and big stickers and everything, but that's open to debate because everyone's interpretation of motor style graphics is different to everyone else's. So, bit of a strange one that. I think that's gonna cause a lot of problems. Um, now, they've obviously done that because a lot of people don't wanna stick stickers on the side of the van, um, you know, to get it classified as a camper van. So, um, it has to have an awning bar attached to, uh, to either side of the vehicle you obviously whichever side you want again i don't think in the past that was an actual requirement but now it has to have an awning that's that's attached to the van now here's the one that's going to um like get to a lot of people and probably annoy a lot of people as well if you've got a van that's got a pop top now again obviously we're talking about volkswagen vans um because that's what we have we don't have a pop top now you could, in the past, even without a pop top, register your vehicle as a camper van. But now, it actually says that, I'll read it out to you. Um, your vehicle has to have a high top roof, but this does not include a pop top elevating roof. So basically, if you've been converting your van recently and you've fitted a pop top, you will never ever be able to get it officially classed as a motor caravan uh, or a uh, camper van because it has to have a solid, rigid high top. Now, I don't know if that means like vehicles like Volkswagen Crafters that have got a high top, for example, you know, does that count? I don't know, it doesn't say anything. But all I do know is pop tops aren't allowed anymore. So if you've got a pop top and you know, you're in the process of like saying, oh, I'm going to get this officially to a camper van, no. Go on the gov.uk website and have a look. I'm not making this up, but it does actually say that no longer the pop tops are acceptable so you can officially get it converted. So now we've done the external, we'll now go inside the van. Now inside the van, you have to have seats and a table, sleeping accommodation, which may be converted from the seat. So that's like obviously like a, like a rock and roll bed or something. Um, cooking facilities and storage facilities. So that's pretty much the same as it was before. Um, you know, again, if you look on the website, you know, it goes more into detail, um, but you do need those features uh, in the van. So I'll just read like a, a little bit, obviously what it says on there to clarify that. This equipment must rigid, rigidly be fixed to the living compartment. However, the table may be designed to be easily removed. Now, my understanding is uh, when you've had all these things done, if you are going to go that far to get it classified as a camper van, uh, my understanding is you need to take like pictures of the outside of the van, inside of the van, take as many pictures as you can, send it over to DVLA, and then obviously what they will do then, they will like, you obviously send your V5 logbook as well, and then if it meets all the criteria, they will then obviously change the classification over to like motor caravan or camper van. Now, like I said, I know a lot of people that have been doing this recently, and it's been getting rejected, and it's been coming back saying that your vehicle is a van with windows. So guys, like I said, that's my basic understanding of obviously what you need to do to obviously get your classification changed over. Now the biggest change, and it's actually come through on the 21st of October 2019, which is the date that I'm filming this. Um, basically, um, it's obviously gone on the gov.uk website today um, to obviously let people know, um, you know, what's going on and how to actually do it. Now, this is going to cause a lot of issues for a lot of people because, especially with the, you have to have a rigid roof now um, and things. But at least it's going to clarify a lot of things as well because, you know, I don't think, the other thing is I don't think it's going to affect anybody that's got like a Volkswagen camper van or any other type of camper van that's already classified as a motorhome caravan uh, on their V5 logbook. If you've already got that, I don't think it's going to change. I think these are like new rules obviously starting from today because I, there's no way DVLA could say to everybody, send your logbooks back, you know, we're changing the classification of a vehicle again. They're not going to be able to do that. So, um, but don't hold me to that. Um, 
So yeah, um, I hope that's like clarified um, and cleared up a, a few things for people because it's cleared a lot of things up for us now because we now know that our goal is never to officially get this like converted to an official um, motorhome caravan uh, and camper van and stuff. Now the thing is, is it still a camper van? Of course it is because it even says on DVLA's website, if you are um, converting the van for the purposes of using it as a camper van, even though it's not classed as a camper van officially, you can still use it as a camper van. So with that being said, my advice is, um, because every time we do some modification to the van, you must tell your insurance company. If you do anything to the van, any modification, even if it's not classed as a camper van, tell your insurance company, tell them what you use it for, tell them what modifications you've done. Because at least that way, legally, you know, you're covered because... DVLA have already said that, you know, you can still use the vehicle for the purpose of a camper van, even if it's not officially a camper van, but let your insurance company know that's absolutely vital. And like I said, we've had modifications done to the van and stuff, and every time we do something, I just ring my insurance company up and I just tell them, I've had this done, I don't know if I need to tell you, but the more you tell them, the better it is and the more that you're covered. Right guys, today's video, really, really quick one. Like I said, uh, I just wanted to get that information um, out there um, because I know from our subscribers, there's a lot of people out there that are converting the vans at the moment, um, you know, with a view as well to get it officially classed as a camper van. But like I said, you need to look at the gov.uk website. I'll put a link to that in the description below, linking direct to the inf where I've got the information from. Like I said, I might have missed something out. I might have said something that's not 100% correct. And that's why I'm advising you do go and do your own homework and do go on and have a look. Right, guys, that's it for today's video. Like I said, nice, quick, short one, a midweek video. I don't normally put videos on midweek. It's normally every Friday that we put a video on. Um, this Friday, keep an eye out for the video that's coming up. It's a modification video, one that you should enjoy. So thanks for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the like button if this has been informative for you. And until the next video, bye for now.